welcome to part two of the installments practice problems waves vibrations and sounds now like before these are going to be very important for your quiz tomorrow something that you should already know based on the fact that many of you told me that hey you've done these problems already these are simply book problems these are fairly simple book problems and they're book problems which will be consistent to some of the problems on the quiz. The problems on the quiz will actually be either the same or easier. They will not be more difficult. Calculate the speed of waves in water that are 0.4 meters apart and have a frequency of 2 hertz. So in other words, 2 cycles per second. Remember, that's what hertz means, cycles per second. <clears throat> now, we know that, while we're waiting for the next slide, that Velocity equals wavelength times frequency. Remember when we used to do a frequency, uh, sorry, when we used to do a velocity of a wave, the speed of a wave, the speed of anything, it was distance divided by time. This is just a different way of looking at velocity. Velocity is the product of wavelength and frequency. And you can see very quickly 2 times 0.4 is 0.8 meters per second. The next problem, the lowest frequency we can hear is about 20 Hertz. Calculate the wavelength associated with this frequency for sound that travels 340 meters per second. How long is this in feet? Okay, so we're given velocity and frequency and we're going to calculate the wavelength so the problem will be wavelength equals velocity over frequency or 340 meters per second divided by 20 hertz which is 17 meters that's the wave which is about 56 feet which is quite large for a wavelength of any kind, be it light or sound. Now, the next problem is going to be very, very simple. It says, does the period of a pendulum depend depend of the, on the mass of the bob on the length of the string? Now, this is right out of the book. And if you wanted to calculate the... the uh, the gravity on Earth, you would use this problem. We did this problem when we did the inertial balances. We used actually a pendulum of sorts. And the pendulum period depends on its length, the length of the string that the bob is attached to, not the mass. Let me say that again. The pendulum, let's say a grandfather clock where it goes back and forth. The length of the rod or the length of the string which the bob is attached to is the most important thing, not the mass. I change the mass, it'll still have the same period. Have a great day and goodbye.